Now let's take a look at the percussion section. This is a snare drum. The percussion section is made up of three different kinds of instruments that make sound by striking an object. There are drums, instruments that play musical notes like the other instruments in the orchestra, and instruments that make a variety of sound effect noises. The piano is a percussion instrument and is sometimes used in the orchestra. Well, Marie plays lots of percussion instruments. Let's watch. My name is Marie and I play percussion with the New West Symphony. The percussion family is the largest section in the orchestra. We have lots and lots of instruments. We have to strike the instruments with something. Most of the time we use some kind of mallets. These are plastic, rubber, yarn, wood, brass mallets. We also, on certain instruments, can use our hands, such as on the bongo drums. And then, on the snare drum, we use snare drum sticks. On the big bass drum, we have special mallets. The bigger the instrument, the bigger the beater has to be. So the bass drum has the biggest mallets, and the bass drum is very low sounds a lot like thunder. Now another thing that's interesting about the drums is when the smallest drum has the highest pitch and as the drums get bigger and bigger they get lower in pitch. The timpani are also drums but these are drums that do a specific thing. We can tune these drums to different notes. The timpanist has to be exactly in tune with the orchestra, and we tune each one of these notes to the key of whatever piece we're playing. You'll notice, as with the, the other drums that we looked at, the biggest drum is gonna have the lowest pitch, and as they get smaller, the pitch gets higher. Now, the way that we tune the timpani to the different notes is with this pedal that we have on the ground. When the pedal is all the way in its lowest position, the head of the timpani is loose. It sounds like that. As I push the pedal farther and farther down, the pitch gets higher. Another kind of percussion is the keyboard family of percussion, or the mallet family. These are instruments that have lots of keys on them, like a piano. The keys are arranged in two rows like on a piano. The bottom row here would be like the white notes on your piano. The top row of keys that's grouped in twos and threes would be like the black notes on your piano. These keys are a lot bigger and heavier than the notes on a piano, and if we were pushing them with our fingers, you can see there's no sound. So we hit these with mallets of different sizes. We've got rubber mallets, plastic mallets, depending on what kind of sound we want. The glockenspiel, or the orchestra bells, are the highest pitch and the smallest of the keyboard instruments in the percussion family. They ring a lot because they're made out of metal. We play them typically with a hard mallet. The vibraphone is also made out of metal. This one is larger and lower in pitch than the glockenspiel. And this one rings so much that we actually have a foot pedal to control the ringing of the keys. Now another thing that the vibraphone does that none of the other keyboard percussion instruments do is it has a motor. And if we flip the switch and turn on the motor, the keys will vibrate. The vibraphone is also 
used a lot in jazz. And in fact, you'll probably recognize this tune. Are set up also like a piano but these hang vertically as opposed to being flat and these are so big and heavy that we have to hit them with hammers I know you've heard of the snare drum but have you ever seen this Sound effects are another type of percussion, and this is one of my personal favorites. The sound effects family of percussion are instruments that imitate either things that are funny, happy, or scary. A lot of them sound like different animals. <coughs> or they imitate some kind of a siren. <coughs> or something scary or a machine, or a whip, or a gunshot, or a rattlesnake. We've also got some Latin percussion in instruments like the castanets, the maracas, the claves, and finger symbols from Turkey. <laughs> 